Tuberculosis, TB, is a contagious and potentially life-threatening infectious disease caused by bacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It primarily affects the lungs, but it can also affect other parts of the body such as the kidneys, spine, and brain. TB spreads through the air when an infected individual coughs, sneezes, or speaks, releasing bacteria containing droplets into the air. When someone else inhales these droplets, they can become infected with TB. However, it is important to note that not everyone infected with TB bacteria becomes sick. In most cases, the immune system is able to fight off the bacteria and keep them under control, leading to a latent TB infection. People with latent TB do not have symptoms and are not contagious, but they can develop active TB disease in the future if their immune system becomes weakened. There are eight types of tuberculosis, TB, includes Pulmonary tuberculosis, TB, is a form of tuberculosis that primarily affects the lungs. It is the most common type of TB infection. When a person inhales the bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the bacteria settle in the lungs and can cause an infection. In the early stages of pulmonary TB, Individuals may not experience any symptoms or may have mild symptoms that are easily overlooked. As the infection progresses, symptoms may become more pronounced. Common symptoms of pulmonary TB include Persistent cough, a cough that lasts for more than two weeks, with or without sputum, phlegm, production. Coughing up blood or bloody sputum, this is known as hemoptysis and can be a sign of more advanced disease. Chest pain, pain or discomfort in the chest, which may worsen with deep breathing or coughing. Fatigue, a general feeling of tiredness or weakness. Weight loss, unintentional weight loss, often accompanied by a decreased appetite. Night sweats, profuse sweating during sleep, which may soak through clothes and bed sheets. Pleural tuberculosis, also known as tuberculous pleurisy, is a form of tuberculosis that affects the pleura, the thin membranes that line the lungs and the inside of the chest wall. It is a common manifestation of extrapulmonary tuberculosis, where the infection occurs outside the lungs. When tuberculosis bacteria, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, reach the pleura, they can cause an inflammation of the membrane, leading to the development of pleural effusion. Pleural effusion refers to the accumulation of fluid in the space between the two layers of the pleura. Symptoms of pleural tuberculosis may include Chest pain, sharp or stabbing pain in the chest, which worsens with deep breathing, coughing, or movement. Dry cough, a persistent, nonproductive cough. Shortness of breath, difficulty breathing or a feeling of breathlessness. Fever, low-grade fever often accompanied by night sweats. Unexplained weight loss, loss of appetite and unintentional weight loss. Skeletal tuberculosis, also known as tuberculous osteomyelitis or POTS disease, is a form of tuberculosis that affects the bones and joints. It occurs when the bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis infect the skeletal system, causing inflammation, destruction of bone tissue, and other related complications. Skeletal tuberculosis can affect any bone in the body, but it most commonly affects the spine, vertebral column, particularly the lower thoracic and lumbar regions. However, it can also affect other bones such as the hip, knee, shoulder, or other joints. Symptoms of skeletal tuberculosis may include back pain, persistent pain in the affected area, often worsened by movement or weight-bearing. Spinal deformities. In the case of vertebral tuberculosis, it can lead to the collapse of the vertebrae, resulting in a hunched back or kyphosis. Limited mobility. Difficulty moving the affected joint or limb due to pain, stiffness, or swelling. Constitutional symptoms. General symptoms like fatigue, weight loss, night sweats, and low-grade fever may be present. Brain tuberculosis, also known as tuberculous meningitis or TB meningitis, is a severe form of tuberculosis that affects the membrane surrounding the brain and spinal cord, 
known as the meninges. It is a rare but serious complication of tuberculosis that occurs when the bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis spread from other parts of the body, usually the lungs, to the central nervous system. Brain tuberculosis typically develops as a result of the hematogenous spread of TB bacteria through the bloodstream or through the direct extension of infection from nearby structures, such as the sinuses or the skull bones. It can affect individuals of any age, but it is more common in young children and people with weakened immune systems. Symptoms of brain tuberculosis may include Headache, often severe and persistent Neck stiffness Difficulty in bending the neck forward due to the inflammation of the meninges. Fever, usually low-grade, but can be high in some cases. Altered mental status, confusion, altered consciousness, or even coma. Nausea and vomiting, especially in the early stages. Seizures, in some cases, brain tuberculosis can cause seizures. Bladder and kidney tuberculosis, also known as genitourinary tuberculosis, is a form of tuberculosis that specifically affects the urinary tract, including the kidneys, bladder, ureters, and sometimes the genital organs. It occurs when mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria infect the urinary system, usually spreading from other parts of the body through the bloodstream. Bladder and kidney tuberculosis can develop as a primary infection or as a result of reactivation of a latent tuberculosis infection. The bacteria can reach the urinary tract through the bloodstream, primarily from the lungs, or by direct extension from nearby structures such as the kidneys. Symptoms of bladder and kidney tuberculosis may vary, and some individuals may not experience noticeable symptoms. Common symptoms include Blood in urine, hematuria this is one of the most common symptoms, and the urine may appear pink, red, or cola-colored. Urinary frequency and urgency, the need to urinate frequently and with a sense of urgency. Pain or discomfort during urination, this can include burning or aching sensations. Flank pain, pain in the lower back or sides, often affecting one or both sides. Lower abdominal pain, discomfort or pain in the lower abdomen. Fever and night sweats. In some cases, there may be accompanying systemic symptoms similar to other forms of tuberculosis. Joint tuberculosis, also known as tuberculous arthritis or skeletal tuberculosis, is a form of tuberculosis that affects the joints. It occurs when the bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis infect the joints, leading to inflammation, destruction of joint tissue, and related symptoms. Joint tuberculosis can affect any joint in the body, but it most commonly affects weight-bearing joints such as the hip and knee. However, other joints such as the spine, shoulder, ankle, or wrist can also be involved. Symptoms of joint tuberculosis may include Joint pain, persistent pain in the affected joint, which may worsen with movement or weight-bearing. Joint swelling, swelling and redness around the affected joint. Limited range of motion, difficulty moving the joint fully due to pain, stiffness, or muscle weakness. Joint deformity, in some cases, long-standing joint tuberculosis can cause joint destruction and deformities. Gastrointestinal tract tuberculosis, also known as gastrointestinal tuberculosis or abdominal tuberculosis, refers to tuberculosis infection that affects the organs of the gastrointestinal system. It can involve any part of the digestive tract, including the esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, colon, rectum, and peritoneum, lining of the abdominal cavity. Gastrointestinal tract tuberculosis usually occurs as a result of swallowing or ingestion of mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria or through the spread of the infection from other parts of the body such as the lungs or lymph nodes. Individuals with weakened immune systems are particularly susceptible to gastrointestinal tuberculosis. Symptoms of gastrointestinal tract tuberculosis can vary depending on the specific site of infection. Common symptoms may include Abdominal pain. This can range from mild discomfort to severe pain and is often localized to a specific area of the abdomen. Weight loss. 
unintentional weight loss is a common feature due to reduced appetite, malabsorption, and the overall impact of the infection. Changes in bowel habits, this may include diarrhea, constipation, or alternating bouts of both. Abdominal swelling or distension, the abdomen may appear swollen or distended due to fluid accumulation or intestinal blockage. Nausea and vomiting, these symptoms may occur in cases of gastrointestinal obstruction or severe inflammation. Rectal bleeding, in some cases, there may be blood in the stool, which can be indicative of ulceration or inflammation in the intestines. Miliary tuberculosis is a severe form of tuberculosis that occurs when mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria spread throughout the body via the bloodstream, resulting in the formation of tiny tubercles, small nodules, in various organs and tissues. The term miliary refers to the millet seed-like appearance of the numerous tubercles seen on imaging studies, resembling a widespread distribution. Miliary tuberculosis can occur as a primary infection or as a reactivation of a latent tuberculosis infection. It most commonly affects the lungs, but it can also involve other organs such as the liver, spleen, kidneys, bone marrow, and central nervous system. The symptoms of miliary tuberculosis can vary and may be nonspecific, resembling those of other infectious or systemic diseases. They may include fever, often persistent and accompanied by night sweats, fatigue and weakness, feeling tired or weak without a clear cause, cough, dry or productive cough may be present, along with other respiratory symptoms such as shortness of breath, weight loss, unintentional weight loss due to decreased appetite and metabolic changes, respiratory distress, in severe cases, there may be difficulty breathing or respiratory failure. Here are some key points regarding the treatment of tuberculosis. First-line anti-tuberculosis drugs. The primary drugs used in the treatment of tuberculosis include isoniazid, rifampin, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol. These drugs are typically used in combination to prevent the development of drug resistance. The initial phase of treatment usually involves taking all four drugs, while the continuation phase involves a combination of isoniazid and rifampin. Treatment duration. The length of treatment can vary depending on several factors, including the type and severity of the infection, the presence of drug resistance, and the patient's overall health. In general, a standard course of treatment for drug-susceptible tuberculosis lasts for at least six months. However, in some cases, treatment may be extended to nine months or longer. Directly observe therapy. DOT to ensure adherence to the treatment regimen and minimize the risk of developing drug resistance, healthcare providers often use directly observed therapy, where a healthcare worker or trained individual directly observes the patient taking their medications. Monitoring and follow-up, regular monitoring is essential during the treatment process to assess treatment response and detect any potential side effects or complications. This may involve periodic clinical evaluations, laboratory tests, such as sputum cultures, and imaging studies. Drug-resistant tuberculosis. In cases of drug-resistant tuberculosis, additional or alternative medications may be required. The treatment of drug-resistant tuberculosis is more complex and often involves a longer duration of treatment with multiple medications. Consultation with a specialist experienced in managing drug-resistant tuberculosis is usually necessary. 